it does cost more than new equipment to maintain but you know it, it costs yeah I, th I think at the moment we're doing okay older equipment it costs us more to maintain but we're getting much much more capable equipment buying it used and very occasionally we'll buy a new thing so things like the beta stat cedar that was um, let's flip the um, nope let's flip it again nope let's flip it again there you go so the beta stat still has 0.8 hours on it it's it's almost pristine and um that will be our cedar at least for now going forwards and we had to buy that new because i needed a cedar and there just weren't any for sale on the store and i think as time goes by i'm probably never gonna buy a brand new harvester because you use harvesters three four hours a year it's It's not something that you are concerned with the hours on. And the other thing with tractors, I mean, I think I bought this tractor with about 20 hours on it. We've already got 14 on it. We haven't owned it in a year. So it's not, you know, buying a new tractor just big depreciation on it. That's all you're really looking at. So I much prefer to have you know, this tractor with all of its capabilities than a lesser tractor with this, you know, with less capabilities, but uh, that cost me the same amount. Because no matter what, I'm going to put the hours on it. I'm going to put the months on. I guess the other option, I, I'm pretty sure that when we come to tomorrow and start selling um, our, cons our perishables, I'm going to have enough money to buy that roller. So no big deal there. But if I didn't have enough money, I could lease it we do have the lease to own I think we've only got the truck on lease to own right now um, oh no we've got the feed mixer as well which is 48,000 to purchase and again I'm not putting hours on that so yeah but I'm pretty sure I am keeping that feed mixer there is the option to buy um, that one's 50,000 new I've got that one's a little cheaper 150,000 horsepower I can't use either of those on the Massey Ferguson uh, that's 28,000 that's 23,000 and that one is 24,000. So this is actually the better deal. It's a little bit more, oh, did you boo, go, stop. Um, it's a little bit more costly than the smaller of the two Andersons, but it works on the Massey Ferguson and we're keeping the Massey at least for now. Now, eventually, maybe, if I decide something really nice comes up in the store that would replace the Massey Ferguson, I'm not using it as a loader tractor anymore. We've got the uh, the telehandler. Um, so going forward, I think the telehandler is going to be our animal handling lifter of choice. But having a second, you know, a small a smaller tractor um, is good to have around the farm. I can do other tasks and I don't have to 
pull in this Fen 700 or or the 8R. So yeah, seven. The fence 700 or the 8R, I don't have to pull these over to the animal farm to do some animal farming work. If I need to mow, obviously the JD is is the thing. Uh, but baling, the little tractor can do. Uh, but we could, we could eventually consider, okay, we'll get rid of the round baler, we'll go square bales for straw and grass. Um, contracts I'm still inclined to do a baler wrapper but that little messy Ferguson won't run a baler wrapper <coughs> and just yeah at that point we say okay maybe maybe a Valtra Air in Arian 600 something in that area um, would be a good replacement tractor T6 on the New Holland front. They're just, you know, a little bit more horsepower. They could run a square baler. They could run a, a bigger uh, feed mixer. Um, and then maybe we look at that. But for right now, that feed mixer needs the, the least amount of power and frankly the bales I'm making I only get 21,000 litres of uh, mix from it without having to do the head math to figure out oh this is going to take two thirds of another bale and blah 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 anyway, how are we doing? it is now 11 o'clock sweet Okay, 320 litres of fertiliser left, and hopefully we don't need all of it. It will be a little bit unfortunate if we do, or if we need more than all of it. So that does mean we're going to have to go somewhere and get more. Still. I'm pretty sure we definitely don't have enough for Field 72, so we're going to have to buy some liquid fertiliser. Yeah, on the subjects of trucks, I did work with... Uh, who managed to pick up a 1970, no, 1984 uh, Ford F-150 that had less than 40,000 miles on it and one previous owner. This was back in about 2005. It was, it was in a absolutely immaculate condition. But he was a service engineer, so yeah, having a truck kind of useful for him. Me, not so much. Okay, are we done yet? Please say we're done. Uh, yes, okay, let's complete that and fold that. So I have 200 litres of stuff and this field needs 347 so we're probably going to need more to do 72. But I think I might chance it. Let's see if we can, uh, we can uh, buy some or do 72 if I can find it. I think it's one of those. Straight down there. Is this a south running road? Yes, it is. Okay. 
So pretty much straight down here, and it is the one to the left of the field we're driving past. Oh, that sucks. Um, yeah, the road I want's the one over there. Well, I'm just going to take advantage of gaps in the field, in the hedges. Because that's a thing. So, 347. Absolutely nothing I... Well, I say, absolutely nothing I can do to reduce that. There is. I could go manual spraying and uh, reduce the spray rate from uh, to the minimum. Because it doesn't matter on these... On, uh, on contract fields, so long as you spray something on all of the field, it doesn't matter if you spray the required amount. But that's kind of cheating, so... Uh, right now, I am going to spray auto. Because it's what you should do. Looks like we've got another missing hedge directly in front of us. That's entirely missing hedge. Now the thing here, if we can get this field, I really don't think we're going to get this field done. But if we could get this field done, I could head down to the store, buy two IBCs, and then do some contracts around that area as well. So, the way things are standing at the moment, it is now 11 o'clock. I'm going to break for lunch uh, round about midday, thereabouts. So, if I do more fertilization contracts, then we'll probably end the stream with me doing fertilization. Ah, oh, look, 57% complete. It's like, oh, I need almost I need so little more but it is what it is we are about to run out and and the overlap really doesn't matter because we have a very smart sprayer that only sprays where things need to go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and oh, down. and we'll raise that, fold that. So, 78% done. We are 22% short on that. Meanwhile, uh, well, the uh, the other farmers in here, one, two, three, four, five, six, there are only six more contracts. They're not very big. Uh, no, we get paid this amount. That's the aggregate after you deduct the cost of fertilizer. So there's there's three kind of big ones and a not quite so big one. Okay, it is what it is. How do we get out of here? Or do I just drive across these fields through the gaps in the hedges? I think I'm going to uh, take liberties. There we go. So, six contracts left, and potentially there will be less once we uh, get this done we are we're gonna need 
liquid fertilizer anyway next month for our two sorghum fields. But I did pre-treat them with manure, so hopefully their nitrogen levels will be such that it's a small, uh, small um, add of liquid. Beat the truck. Beat the car. Beat the car. Alrighty, we'll pull up here, we will jump out, we will buy more. Liquid fertilizer. Boop, boop, boop. 5,000 litres is 6,600. We will buy liquid fertilizer. Yes, just make sure I'm not buying herbicide because that would be a bad thing to do. And we will fill. Alrighty, so, and this will give us 100% load here, that is a nice looking crop again. How close are we to uh, uh, growth stage, five of six, so there is one more growth stage after this and then it will be ready to harvest. So there are, we still have fertilizer left over. That's fine. Oops. Let's try not to hit the... Uh, the silo. So I'm playing similar rules to uh, Virtual Farmer. Our silos have four tanks or, on each. So I can store four different crops at each silo location, which is why one of the reasons why I haven't sold the silo down on the uh, cow farm is because once we get more than four crops growing, I might need uh, to overflow there. I think we're blowing this year. We're growing canola, barley, and sorghum. We didn't go with um, soybeans. And I might look at dropping canola as one of our crops that we grow frequently. Just because it's not a particularly valuable crop. Per liter it's, yeah, it has value, but overall, it's just not, not the greatest. Okay, let's get ourselves back in this field. And, oh, that's a nice line up there. <coughs> oh, that was the other thing I was going to Okay. Okay, we'll get this contract done. We'll get paid. We'll take, I think, the th at least the three biggest of the other spraying contracts. I mean, the nice thing with the contracts we did so far today is they were all within a small distance of each other. What's I was going to look at fields. Um, and there are a lot of cornfields here, 66, 75, 80, 39, and don't see any down there, oh, 15, oh, no, 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 oops, don't be doing that. Um, so what I might do is look at buying a cornfield this year, 
seeing if we can mow it. And if I can't mow it, then... Um, we might get ourselves a tractor mounted um, forage harvester header thing so that we can at least do that um, so we just did that one we'll collect on that that's worth 5,000 I will do that one I will do that one I will do that one we might do the 3,000 one I'm not sure I'm going to bother with the smaller ones okay what I was saying was um, forage harvesters you can get this that sits on the front of a tractor like the John Deere and then very small corn header 375 horsepower our ATAR can run that or I could run, I could get that one which is John Deere colored that one's even bigger that's at 580 horsepower so we can't run that but I could run a 345 plus that and uh, if I can't mow it is the deal um, did I do this field? Did I get paid for this field? We got paid for this field. So 33, 39, 99. Let's look at the map. 99. 33. 39. Oh. Um. Okay. I think we go down here, we'll run across to 33, we'll do 39, and that puts us back across the road from our yard. So that's the plan. How do I get out of here? Right there. We'll fold that up. Now the other thing I was thinking was updating this sensor on the front to carry a weight. Um, just because it'll balance out what's on the back a little. Okay, through here. Yeah. Everybody breathe in. Can, you help me? Now. Can we get out that side? get through there. Not even with the dodgy edges can I get through there. Well, I think where I'm driving there probably used to be a hedge. So I guess we're out onto the street then. Don't think it's not really a cut through but ah, what the heck. Oh, sometimes you just get fed up and just drive across other people's fields because why not? I think that's a gap in the hedge and uh, that's a gap in the hedge. Actually, field 99 is a long way from here. Maybe uh, I shouldn't really be doing this. That's the road. I should have gone out to the street and then driven around. And 
and my plan had been if I could finish off that uh, um, that field with what I had on board I could then have gone to the store and bought fertilizer filled up there before I did the rest of them but it didn't work so Okay, so three bigger, three larger fields to do, and that should get us up to what, 25,000 approximately? Not sure how much fertilizer we'll have left, and we do have our two fields to fertilize, and I think they both need weed treatment as well. As I said, we'll see how far we get here, and so I'm going to raise the sprayer so it doesn't doink on the hedge, just in case, although I did make that turn. So there are still quite a lot, and I think we can, well, that's the wrong one, by doing